Hey everybody, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at is importing your DAZ poses onto your characters in Character Creator 3. So if you have some particular poses that you really like, uh, that you uh, want to bring from DAZ, this is the tutorial that you'll want to watch. Okay, so on the screen right now we have a basic DAZ Genesis 8 male character uh, with basic wear. We're not going to focus too much on the clothing, but we're going to give him a pose, okay? Because we want to import that pose into Character Creator 3. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. First of all, the pose I'm going to give him is this uh, Warrior King pack here. You can see Warrior King Genesis 8 male. And let's just apply this uh, G2, uh, G8M02M pose right here to our character. You can double click it if you want. And then uh, what you want to do here is make sure you turn limits off, okay? And you can select remember my preference if you want. Um, and our character will pop into his super cool looking Kung Fu pose. What all right? And so what we're going to do here is export this into FPX format and then into 3D Exchange. And we'll go from there. Okay. So file and export. Okay. Now these uh, export options are important. I already have a folder set up here, Daz Poses on my desktop. I'm just going to call this uh, Demo Pose. Okay. And save that. Now these options are important. Like I mentioned, uh, figures, animation selected, locks and limits selected. You want to choose FPX 2012 binary. And these clothing items don't really matter too much. Okay. Uh, skinning and scaling uh, to do with the clothing, but let's go ahead and select accept here Okay, and our character is going to do some popping and locking and dance himself back into the uh, Daz A pose here and then return to his Kung Fu pose Okay, so that's the uh, first um, Animation exported as a single uh, animation in a single FBX file What we're going to do now is we're going to export multiple animations or multiple poses in the same FPX file. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna change my total number of frames here to five since we're gonna export five different poses. And I'll just move my timeline up here. You can see one, two, three, four. Or the first one's a, a pose as well here, zero is a pose. Okay, so we're gonna apply five different poses here. This time I'm gonna choose uh, 03M. Uh, make sure we're at frame zero here to apply that one to our character. All right, and then we'll pop into a second uh, frame here and then we'll do 04. Okay, give him some funky, uh, again, just turn limits off. Don't worry about that. Uh, three, uh, frame two right here. We'll apply, uh, I don't know, let's try something a little further down here, maybe like 14, like this flying uh, axe slash, whatever it is, <laughs> okay? Uh, there we go. You can see the cool pose right here. Very dynamic looking. All right, and then we'll go to the next pose. You can see every frame has a separate pose here. Okay, that's the way we want it. And then this frame here, the fourth frame, we're gonna choose, um, let's choose uh, 16 here, pose 16. We're going the other direction. Whoa, whoa. And then the last frame, we'll go ahead and just, uh, I don't know, something up here a little bit, zero nine maybe, and, and turn limits off. There we go. Okay, so we have uh, a number of different poses all set up here. We're gonna export them all together. So let's go ahead and do that uh, by going up to file and export here. And we're going to choose, we're going to just select five pose, okay? Or call it, name it five pose rather, in the same folder. And here, don't worry about all this stuff again, same, uh, same settings, and just go ahead and accept that. And we'll just pop and lock back into motion here, or back into the A pose. Okay, so what we're going to do is, once this is finished exporting is we're going to import those files into 3D Exchange now, okay? So let's go into 3D Exchange, and I'm just going to go ahead and open it. Sort of file open. Now let's open up the demo pose first, okay? So for this one, make sure you import animation at uh, 60 uh, samples per second there, okay? Very important. And just go ahead and press OK. And it's going to assign a bunch of materials. And once it's finished doing that, it'll uh, come up with a couple of uh, dialog boxes here. It just notices that it's a uh, Genesis character, so it's automatically going to rig it to Genesis, uh, from a Genesis 8 rig. And then we want to import in the uh, facial morphs there, okay? and also optimize, apply optimize material settings. And there we go, our dude in his uh, workout clothing. All right, and you'll see when we import that in, there's a demo pose animation right here. We double click it, it'll pop into his pose just like that, okay? And you got a Bruce Lee funky looking uh, Daz uh, Dragon Warrior King pose, whatever it is there, okay? And you can see it's down here in the perform editor as well. If you want to go to the animation section, by the way, go up here to your modify uh, tab and you can select here, click on animation, or you can use the M hotkey there, okay? And if we want to import in more of those poses, we can do so by just going up to import and then we'll import in the five pose FBX file here, okay? So we'll import it into there. 
we want to make sure we apply it to this, the current character, uh, 60 samples per second again, and just go ahead and press OK. And you'll see that five pose animation will show up there in the motion library. So, okay, let's just click that. You can see it just, uh, you know, popped into this pose right here. We can go frame by frame by clicking uh, this button right here. And you can see frame two, frame three, frame four, frame five. Okay, so we're just going back and forth just like that. Okay, so now this is kind of cool. I mean, you, you can export this as one single... Uh, you know, animation file, but obviously we want to have different items in our list so we can export all of these uh, poses individually. Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're just going to go ahead and delete all of these right now, and then we're going to import them separately. So I'm going to import uh, this five pose right here, and go ahead and open it, and again, same uh, same settings. But you'll notice here a new feature with uh, 3D Exchange is we have an option once we select the uh, we select it in the uh, motion library here suddenly we have this option to split into poses. Okay, so if we split into poses, then it'll populate our perform uh, editor with all the individual different poses, okay? And we can do this as well. We can uh, do the, the single pose by itself as well. So import in uh, the demo pose, okay, individually, and same process. Okay, and then our demo pose, we need to move this down to our perform, uh, perform editor there individually. So just go ahead and select add to perform. And we'll apply there at the uh, very uh, very bottom there. Okay, and if we want to export all of these together as iMotion files so we can apply them to our character in Character Creator 3, all we need to do is go up here to uh, Export to iClone. Okay, just like this. We want to make sure we have iClone 7 selected. Do not export the geometry. Okay, we don't need the Genesis character. He was just a dummy for us to take out his animations. And then we'll go to uh, down here to Export Animation, of course. We can choose the default to icon custom folder, okay? If we want, just by selecting it, okay? It'll go into your custom folder, but I'm gonna go ahead and just export it to my desktop here. Um, I have this uh, folder called Daz Poses already selected here, okay? Well, I, uh, previously created on the desktop there. And then we'll just go ahead, you can see all the animation file names will appear right here, okay? And we'll just go ahead and export. And once we do that, what's going to appear at the uh, in the folder here? Let's see, do you have an explore window open? Nope, don't. We need to go to our desktop. There's our character, by the way. Let's go to our desktop, Daz Poses right here. You can see we have all of those separate um, poses as separate iMotion files, okay? So all we need to do is basically just uh, go into uh, Character Creator 3 and take our explore window, put it over top here, and we can apply these poses to our character uh, one by one. Let's just uh, move this window a little bit further over here. All right, so our po uh, demo pose animation, we can just click and drag it onto our character. And there he goes into his like Kung Fu pose, just like that. And of course, if you want, you can modify these further by selecting Edit Pose in the Modify tab, uh, Animation uh, Motion Pose tab up here, go to Edit Pose, and you can use the uh, Motion Key Edit, or the Keyframe, uh, the Human IK, okay? You can use that to, uh, you know, modify the pose however you want. Maybe he's doing a different style of Kung Fu. Just like this, Whoa. okay? And then if you want, of course, you can apply any of those other iMotion files to your character as well. So uh, the first pose uh, was this one here. All right, so kind of like the weird, awkward, like leaning pose. I'm not sure what he's doing there, but uh, leaning something. And, uh, you know, second pose as well, just like this. Okay, the, the crouching pose. And then we have... Uh, the uh, third one, which was kind of like the, uh, I believe, the weird kind of, I don't know. I really don't know what to name these poses. I'm at a loss for these. I'm not really familiar with the, <laughs> the Kung Fu terminology or whatever whatever uh, martial arts it may be. You can see the character right there as well. Okay, pretty cool. And finally, let's throw in our last uh, demo pose there as well, which is like the flying baseball throw. All right. Baseball style. All right, pretty cool. So that's really all there is to it, guys. Uh, that's how you can apply your animations, uh, your, not animations, rather your Daz poses to your characters in Character Creator 3. All right, so once you've got the pose you want, you can hook your character up with some accessories, put them in a nice uh, lighting situation. In this case, I've used uh, Light Studio preset from one of our content packs, the uh, iRay Render uh, Light Studio content pack. You can check that out in the uh, link description or in the description of this uh, video. And then give her a quick render and in a few minutes you'll have a result just like this. So you get a really nice uh, looking render and you can custom pose, uh, customize the materials and uh, the atmosphere and everything that you want. 
So that's really about all there is to it, guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you learned a lot about exporting your Daz animations and poses uh, from Daz into Character Creator 3. And I hope to see you in the next video.